Hey everybody, welcome back. Old Guy Gamer here. We're gonna do another round of This is the Police. Day 8. I got a uh, psychological evaluation coming up today as the chief of this police department, so I'm not looking forward to that, but at least it'll bring a little bit of more a little bit more interest to this game. Robespierre announces political ambitions. Sounds good to me. Let's watch the cutscene. Very simple test. I'll show you a card. Tell me what you see. Oh man. A man taking a handful of tablets in the barn. That's funny. Two natives beating the drums. Yeah, I don't see that. Flying severed heads. Maybe I should just screw with this lady and say like the worst possible things. Or really mix it up and say the worst possible things with the best possible things the next time. A man going back to his house. A butterfly. A man with a clock for a face. That makes no sense. Butterfly, that makes no sense. We'll do that one. A woman decorating a Christmas tree. Okay, I see that. A dancing girl. Yeah, I don't see that. A blue alien raping a pig. There we go. Let's just mess with this lady. A man giving a woman a Christmas ornament. A tower on a hill. A baby with spider legs. Well, I see a tower on a hill, so let's say that one. A woman dropping the Christmas ornament. An automobile accident. I don't see that. A tree that's growing human lungs. Let's just say the most screwed up one on this one. Pieces of a Christmas ornament on the floor. An ice cream cone. Marching hammers. Man, that is really... A man yelling at the woman. I don't see that. A chess rook. A man with the head of a rhinoceros. Yeah, I'm just gonna say whatever sounds the most unique. Woman slapping the man in an overturned truck. A huge hedgehog eating people instead of apples. Don't see that either. Man pushing the woman. Key on a chain. Don't see that. Octopus playing the piano. I don't see a key on the chain, but let's put that. A woman falling over with the Christmas tree. That's pretty funny. Pile of autumn leaves. A woman in a worm skin coat. Yeah, let's go really screwed up on this one. Probably gonna get fired. That's alright. Oh, that's it for that day. Alright, we'll do two days today then. That's too short of a video. You can't make that one. I thought they would do that plus a normal day. That's uh, unusual. Alright, let's do two days. Shea Broom re-elected as Freeburg General Attorney. So I'll bet we'll be visiting her today, since they dropped her name in the headline. No black employees at City Hall. Mayor says it's an accident. Major businessmen ready to invest in the future of the city. Stolva didn't come into work today. He's my most professional guy. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? No. Maybe he'll die in a DUI crash. Alright. I'd love to give this guy stripes, but he doesn't deserve it yet. Because he's new. She's new. Wow. Yeah, I'm not promoting anybody. That's easy to do. Don't care about music. Let's just go. Seven o'clock. Quan Yin Lin turned out to be a member of a gang known as the Red Masks. 
He could help you to take down the gang if you make him an informant. That was just a robbery, right? So yeah, let's just accept that. Number of gangs in Freebird, that means there's bounties to collect. Some of the criminals you come across be members of one gang or another in exchange for their immunity. They may be willing to give up their bosses. Okay, let's go. In this way, you can get your hooks into gang members higher and higher up the food chain. Hopefully, you can ultimately take down the boss. If you do arrest the boss, the gang will be finished and you'll get to claim a reward. It's also a reward for charging gang members. Whenever you arrest one, you get a bonus. But your deal with that person is over. Don't settle for small fish. Use small fish to catch big fish. Okay, I don't want to do that. Guess we'll move up the chain. Oh, okay. Well, he's proven reliable. Wise Dragon Restaurant hid the stolen antique necklace. Leaves me with only one detective for the day, but we'll see if we can survive. Man, a lot of reading today. A few months ago, unregistered feminist organization appeared in Freeburg. Today they're holding their first protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by foreign sponsors. Their goal is to get their people into important positions in City Hall. Oh, that would be a refreshing change. I would support that just to get rid of the crooked one that's tied with the Mafia. The protest may escalate into something more serious, so we need to show them who's in charge. Use batons and tear gas, even firearms if necessary. Wow. Let's show them what intimidation looks like up close and personal. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I must have clicked the wrong thing. I clicked the police station instead of the, the call. Fifty women are gathered in the park chanting, let us be successful. I have to send SWAT. And I have to send four officers. One. Two. Three. Let's do the worst one, see if we can bring him up a little bit. So here's Martin Stett. He introduced himself yesterday's, uh, during yesterday's video. And I have no idea who he is, so let's see. We have a problem. Chief Prosecutor Freeburg is a woman, and it seems she's on the side of the feminists. Oh, okay. You might be walking into some serious legal problems. You better play it safe and fake some evidence to shield you from any possible prosecution. Evidence against Mark Fishbach. We'll forge a recording of a telephone conversation which one of your officers says he hates women. Couldn't wait to turn their faces into bloody messes. Or we can forge evidence, a letter in which the Mafia says the feminist organization is getting in the way of the business and demands you suppress the protest by force with a threat and they'll go after your family. Or I could just go to work. Let's just go to work. Biao Lang gave several interviews in which she spoke about atrocities committed by Red Mask's gang. She embellished a lot and distorted the facts. If you want to keep people from panicking, you'll need to take down the gang within the next four days. Oh, okay. Seven ten in progress. Uh, Mr. Boyd, your psyche is in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows that Beethoven's music soothes and relaxes, blah blah blah. Yeah, whatever. Hostage situation. I sent all my best cops away. A dissatisfied client entered some law offices with a pistol, took several employees hostage, and demanded a meeting with the firm's partners. These shyster Jews took me for a ride. They sucked up all my money, and my son still went to jail. I guess we'll send all four. Everybody else has to wait today. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning, you know. He is faithful assistant. What? Ning He is the faithful assistant Jin Yang. 
founding member of the gang to trust with the most serious jobs. Ning He keeps his more valuable prizes at home while he arranges for their sale. He then brings them to the wise dragon. Yeah. On the day before, he's planning to make the deal. The gang must have an immediate buyer for the necklace, so Ning He brought it to the restaurant the same night it was stolen. Usually, the restaurant is open around the clock, but it was closed that night before because an important deal was going down. I think he has a key to the restaurant. The valuables are kept in a safe under the bar. Not very many safes. I mean, not very many pictures to go on, so... Uh, it looks like this guy's wearing a green coat, and he has a mohawk. This guy has a black coat, and he has longer hair, so we're talking about two different people. That's what I get from that, which is not much. My goodness. It's only 10 o'clock, people. Come on. Shouldn't be this much serious crime going on before 10 in the morning. We have something going today at the casino at 1240. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to have any cops available. We wouldn't want any pl policemen crashing the party. 8,000 is my reward. Let's get some of these cops going. Arson. I guess we get one detective on this one. And it's raining. At noon. I bet a call's gonna pop up right about now. Dealer at this casino called the police. Someone entered carrying a grenade. Robbery in progress. Oh no, I've only got 20 seconds to respond. I gotta go to the bathroom. I mean, I'm gonna sit here and read my newspaper. Theater management. Stranger Than Paradise is the movie. The screen is ruined. Members of the audience suffered minor injuries in the panic, but fortunately no one was seriously hurt. Coddle was an usher. I remember a girl with bright red hair. I sold her a ticket. The show started, although I usually don't do that. Oh, after the show started, although I usually don't do that. But she was really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was soda. I wouldn't think such a pretty lady would come to the movies with anything hard. Mr. McKay, another visitor. I sat in the last row. A few minutes after the film started, I heard someone out of the room and slammed the door. I was going to say something because I don't like when someone distracts me from the vision. When I saw a flash of fire, and a flaming bottle flew straight at the screen. When the screen caught fire, I thought it must be part of the show. You know what? I heard that Jim Jarmusch guy is from a nut house. And one more visitor. When the fire started, I immediately started looking around for a way out. That's when I spotted her, the red-headed fool. She ran away quick. There wasn't time to do anything. That doesn't show much. That doesn't show much. Let's see what kind of hunches our detectives can scrape up. Let's watch this robbery call fade into the sunset. Constitution Arcade. Super Magdalene 3. The last time we put in a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. It would be great if you sent a couple of your men to keep kids under control. Yeah, let's send the best cops we got. There's going to be a fight there. One of them is going to die. I don't think I've made it a day yet where someone didn't die. Well, actually, you know what? My psych interview, no one died that day. Man, that was a really good day. All I had to do was answer questions from him. Well, not answer questions. Look at pictures. Tell the lady what I saw. What, 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 what? All right, suspicious individual, got it. Pregnant girl called in to report. Suspicious gynecologist who she met in reception. Oh, this is going bad already. The doctor was behaving very strangely. Attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion. 
though she was already five months pregnant. In those streaming tears, she explained, the doctor said that for only 10,000 he could save me from the parasite inside my body. I smell a scheme. A brewing. Oh my goodness. Let's do this. See how the 1200 guy handles the pregnancy. Whatever you call that, I don't even know. Disorderly conduct in the ghetto. Takara Montez complains to the police about her neighbors. Often complains to the police about her neighbors. Constantly making a racket. Often getting into fights. Always refusing to discuss things with their neighbors. She's called the police again today after hearing loud bangs in the apartment along with loud screams. According to her, about six or seven people live in there. Loud bangs in the apartment. It's not good. Anywhere. I think I gotta close this one up and hope someone comes back to help her out. I got three cops available. There we go. Let's send all three of them. Wait, what happened at the arcade? These two guys went to the arcade. They've got a situation Whatever. here. Doctor spots the police, grabs a scalpel, and boldly shouts, Come on, I'll release your souls from this filthy world. This guy is crazy. Restrain, hit him with the taser, use pepper spray. I like the taser. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Crazy doctor. Jack, we're about to bring in a large shipment of alcohol, but we've heard that our new partners like to play tough. We need a couple of you guys for insurance. Don't have anybody available. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. I didn't even pay attention to that side. You swear I'll start saying you can't keep promises, we won't keep ours. Oh, the protest, right. Okay. I was like, what's that about? Oh, here they are. They got back. I never read their report. Everything went great. In fact, it's been a while since we had that much fun. We played them in Hellfighter. Robbery report. Of course. Oh, so they killed. Okay. Three people died? Holy cow. I sent four cops. Like I said, days haven't gone by that I haven't had someone down. Already there. I don't have anybody available. Let's see how this ends up. Holy cow, they caught him. True Color Hotel. A call came in from a hotel occupant who was concerned about the cries of a woman in an adjoining room. Sounds to me like someone's being raped, said the frightened elderly woman. Let's see how close these guys are to getting back. It's getting late. Three new frames. Sweet. Actually, I should. Uh, let me look at that while I've got a chance. Hopefully that stops the clock. Details. What are the pictures we see here? Green jacket mohawk guy pulls up. Green jacket mohawk guy walks up to the bar. Then he breaks in. Then he sticks his... No, that's not how it goes. There, he breaks in first. And then he goes up to the bar. Then he steals the stuff. Hasn't worked anywhere officially in the last 10 years. Great. Let's go to the other one real quick. Stranger than paradise. First she blocks the doors. Then she runs through the doors. Then she sets the fire. That's probably not how it worked. She probably went through the doors, set the fire, and then locked the doors, right? Change those. I thought I had it all done. I 
how is that not the thing? Runs in, sets the fire. Whatever. Let's see if this is it. Nope. Well, we know he did this first. What the heck, we'll close it, see if we can get some more stuff tomorrow. Let's go to this last call, send everyone we can. Just to get it done. Oh, here we go. A year ago, Ning became owner of the house. It was listed as a gift. Really? If I wait until tomorrow, the detective's not going to be working, and then I'm not going to have anybody. I don't have a choice. This game is interesting. We've got a situation here. But not exciting. The door to one of the rooms on the second floor is standing ajar. Oh, this is the old lady who called in the noise complaint with their adjoining room. The door to one of the rooms on the second floor is standing ajar. And through it, he can see a large man holding a crying girl by the neck. He's striking her in the face and shouting, Shut up, you whore. I paid you now. Keep quiet. Holding a crying girl by the neck. You can use force. Strike him in the knees. Showing him or... We had gun at him. Let's just hit him in the knees. Managed to escape. Oh, it's her pimp. I thought it was her John. Okay. I misunderstood. The girl managed to escape, but her pimp leaps for the man. Well, now there's a pimp and a man? Oh, what the heck. And another fight breaks out. Try to separate them. Let them fight. Use pepper spray. Oh. Gotta jump in, I guess. The man shoves the pimp away and suddenly jumps out the window. Shoot the fleeing man in the back. What? Jump out after him. Yeah, let's run down the stairs. It's not that important. Alright. That's gotta be the end of the day, right? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, not everyone's back yet. Did we get him? Yes. Birch Jr.'s turning into quite the little copper. I don't think he was a five or anything, but he was pretty low. Able to arrest all the suspects in the Red Mask Gang. Who's this guy? can I do? I guess we hurry up and wait. Let's end this day. We'll let the next shift, the next shift come on. We'll let them do some work. We'll mourn. We've got like five dead cops that still haven't been buried yet. What in the world is going on? It's like the most dangerous town in the world. It's only got like 20 cops and five of them have died this week. Alright, let's end the day. My goodness, that was rough. Each of your employees receive a weekly salary, the ones who are still alive anyway. But if you bury the paperwork, you can pull in some money from any deceased officers ever. <laughs> so long as they're alive and healthy on paper, City Hall will keep printing perfectly healthy paychecks. We need to do some paperwork for this dead employee. Yeah, let's delay it for a week. Let's delay that one for a week. Um, let's just delay them all. Oh, really? The most professional guy I got. 
I gotta hire four new cops now. Great. Day number 10. Local resident denounces mayor for theft of antique necklaces. Representative of Orthodox Church may appear in Freeburg. City unemployment rate drops below 1%. Wow. All right, that's day 8 and day 9. We'll wrap it up there. I'm actually going to play some other games for the rest of my night. I uh, Today's my Friday, my last day of work. I've got a couple days off, so I'm going to stay up late, play some games, and get them all posted for you. So, like a video... You know what? First watch a video, then like a video, and then watch another video, and maybe like that one. If you like more than two of my videos, just go ahead and subscribe. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I'll see you next time.